everyone, this is the second installment of a series of animated mock-ups I've been creating. The first one was this animated t-shirt mock-up, and after this a lot of people requested that I create a hoodie mock-up, so that's what I've done here. And if you haven't ever purchased or used the animated t-shirt mock-up, um, I'll just explain how how it works. So it's an After Effects project template. You don't need any third party plugins. So essentially what it is, is this 3D animated uh, garment with the back and front surfaces tracked so that you can just drag and drop in your design. Um, very simple. It basically takes two minutes if you have your designs ready and then you can render out these um, these clips. So there is a front, front angle, back, back angle. So four different views to render out and you can change the color between black, white, or um, let's see, is there? Yeah, so here I've just changed it to blue, but you can change it with the color picker to any color you want and no matter what color it is, the designs will blend with the shadows and highlights. And it's 2K resolution and at 30 frames per second. And it loops infinitely, of course. And you can always email me or message me if you need help 24 seven customer support. And yeah, so once you actually buy this, you will get a zip folder with everything in it. So let's jump into that. So once you've downloaded the file, this is what you'll get. TBM animated hoodie mockup version one. This is the commercial license. So what a lot of people have done with the t-shirt mockup before is they've tried to, well, this is specifically on Windows where you can open these zip files without extracting it first. If you open the project file here, before extracting it, it's not gonna link properly to all the footage. Um, there's quite a lot of footage for all of the angles that the project needs to link to. So make sure that you extract this before you actually try open the project file. So this is the folder you get once you extract it. And here is the project file. So I'm gonna go straight into that. Okay, so when you open the project, this is how it looks. It starts on the choose shirt color comp where you see previews of all the different angles with your designs placed on them. And here in the project panel, this is the just a folder. You can delete it, you can organize it however you want. This is just where you can place your designs. I've just placed two here that I'm gonna place. And the way the project works is just from top to bottom. So first thing you do, you edit the design. So let's edit the front design. Just gonna delete this placeholder. And I'll put this in here. So it's recommended <clears throat> that you stay within these guides for the best results. Uh, so I'll just place it like that. And edit the design on the back. Just gonna delete these placeholders as well. And the next step is to, yeah, choose the color. So I'm just gonna make this black. And yeah, it all looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna cache a preview of all of this so I can get a better look of how the designs uh, act on the animation. So I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I'm just gonna zoom in just to double check. Thank you. 
and that's as simple as it is to use it so now we can just go to the render folder here and by default this is just a transparent background so you can either render it um, as a MOV with alpha with transparency and put it over your own footage in a separate uh, project in Premiere Pro or in After Effects and yeah we just have all the angles here and yeah you can obviously of course just create your own background here add your own footage in here but yeah that's pretty much it it's really simple to use and i hope that you find it useful for your own projects and please feel free anytime with any suggestions you have for updates you would like me to add i know that a few people mentioned that they would really like if i added a variation for a, a zip and pockets so i'm definitely going to be adding that to future updates in this but as it is now um hope that it's useful and yeah if you need any help with uh, how to use the project like i said 24 7 customer support you can just email me anytime um <clears throat> at directly through my email or on the what's it called the contact form, the contact form on my website at tylerbrooks.media. Uh, 